also know in a previous video, I spoke on this whole situation with Carmen's single Lick Back. Now, if you guys have not checked out her single, I will link it down in the description box below. I will say that it is fire. Now, I did speak on this situation with her and the actual singer on the song, Sherelle. Now, yesterday, Sherelle went live on Instagram because she was upset with how business was being handled with Carmen's team. I do have that full live and I will link that down in the description box below as well. Now in Carmen's video that she posted today, she did state that there was just a big misunderstanding and that everything has been worked out. Well, Sherelle did go on to Instagram and she stated, I want to make it clear, Carmen had nothing to do with the release of the song. It was beautifully written. I'm grateful that she chose my voice to express her words. There was a misunderstanding but it's getting sorted out you guys can't fathom my gratitude all love now carmen's soon to be ex-husband had some things to say about this situation as well he went onto facebook and he posted sad to see what's happening to sherelle the dope i got effed over too by the same people remember y'all was congratulating me for my song being on tyler perry's show i knew ish about it so i'm about to offer her to partner with ssg let's go trust me i know how dirty this game really is and that's why I'll remain independent with my own audience. We built my peoples can vouch SSG. Then he was in her comment section on Instagram asking her to DM Man, it's so him. lame how this damn music industry dog really be just spoken over all these damn artists. And, it's the, and the crazy part about it is, bro, you'll be amazed how many talented artists out here that write for people and nobody knows about it because they don't get any recognition. And on top of that, not even getting their recognition, a lot of them don't even get paid. So it's like, bro, being, in, being independent is so important until you understand the industry yourself to be able to move inside of it. Because if you just come inside the industry, bro, you don't know how the industry is ran, bro, they gonna walk all over you. And I even got, I even experienced it already, you know what I'm saying? So I can speak up for myself, like, I, right, hey, listen, my song racked up. I'm trying to figure out how to hear the song on Tyler Perry's show. I ain't know nothing about it. Haven't even got, haven't got a dime for that damn song. So it's like, I know exactly what Sherelle going through this whole Carmen song. So you know, that's why I got to make sure I step in and help out because I the Carmen ain't know. Man, this old I really don't like how they did Sherelle on this song. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know exactly what she going through. I know how she feel. And I can only imagine you know what I'm saying? How she feel, even when I know how I feel when it happened to me. And it happened to me a couple of years ago. So it's like, that's what that, that's my purpose of being independent. And, um, you know, doing this shit the right way and figuring it out the right way and the organic way. Because the industry, bro, the industry will suck you in and they'll use your ass and they'll spit you out. Straight up and they'll just, they'll, they'll hunt for the next prey. And, you know, they can't fuck with Big SSG, so I'ma just keep it real and y'all know me, I'ma speak my mind and I don't give a fuck. Just respect it, but it's just fucked up how they out here just scamming these artists and, uh, you know, fucking over them. But I'ma st I'm step in and I'ma hip hop, so. It appears that Carmen and Michi are back on good terms. Michi did post a photo from his weekend in Miami. Someone underneath that picture stated, you know Carmen still your fave. He responded with, duh. Now, Carmen did post a video today stating, I FaceTime him. The sneak peek was OC. Someone in Carmen's comment section already knew where this was headed. They stated, OMG, please don't get Corey started on BS. We ain't never going to hear the end of it. And Carmen just responds with a crying face emoji. I don't know how Corey is planning on getting his wife back, especially since he's planning on teaming up with Sherelle and signing her to SSG. Not that there's any bad blood between Carmen and Sherelle right now, but for Corey to do that, it's just crazy. Now, Corey's sister also exposed some information 
information about him. She went on to Facebook and stated, I'm not going to argue with someone that's staying in my back room because they got evicted from their apartment. Now, Corey and his sister were arguing on Facebook live moments earlier. Here's what was stated on Facebook. But sis is stating Corey got kicked out of that apartment in Miami, and that's why he's back in Alabama. I'm gonna try to come watch this. Walk in this house. I'm gonna try to look at everything. I'm gonna try to look at look at the flow. I'm gonna try everything. Look at look at the, look at the roof. Look at the fixtures. Look at the light. Look at this brand new TV. Look at brand new carpet on the floor. I'm talking about everything clean. Y'all don't understand me. My dad was just this shit was just filthy as fuck. Like let me show y'all. Look at everything. Huh? I I, I want to tell you. I want to tell you right now. I'm here because I came here to help. Remodeled my family house, hit my family, and and also, I know also also they help the kids in the motherfucking in the hood here that need help. That's why I came back. The, the kids the, in your Marines. I right, bet to you. I don't talk to. You. I hate talking to inner people. Listen, y'all. The, the cabinets. Look at the sink. Look at the bathroom. Y'all gonna get this in a minute. I'm telling y'all this for a reason because I can't stand ungrateful ass people. And your family member gonna always be the one that's ungrateful. So anybody alive, listen to me now. I'm telling y'all. Your family member gonna be the one that's gonna be ungrateful. Look at this. Look at this shit. Everybody watch my blog. Y'all see the house when I came here, right? All right. So my little sister's 22 years old, right? 22, don't got no job. Me, my mama help her a lot. But I help my mama a lot. So that means I help a lot. My dad help. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Ain't no way in hell if my brother came to my came to my house. He ain't gonna be his house. If my brother came to my house and remodeled my whole house down there, I'm gonna be nice to my brother. I'm gonna listen to my brother. I'm gonna try to learn from my brother. You know, I'm gonna respect my brother. I'm gonna be grateful and, and show my brother that I'm grateful, right? Well, if y'all can have a clue of where I've been dealing with since I've been here, y'all wouldn't even imagine it. Like, honestly, and it's just sick, and like, to the point where I'm sick of it, because it's like, some people just don't understand this. These motherfuckers tell me I would rather went without my house again, did, rather than deal with this. Well, she don't like to deal with it, she don't like when I talk to her. So you gotta, and, and it what bothers me. I'm gonna say what I wanna say here. We came out the same, okay? We came out the same. She's 22, I'm 25. I left my mama's house at 18 years old. Where you went? I left my mama's house at 18 years old, right? I made my first million dollars at 19 years old. Let's not get it twisted. For five, six years, who been helping you? More, right? Who been helping more? Who, who, who paying more every month? No, but, no, I'm just saying in general. Who helping more? The whole ride I know I have my mama. The whole ride I know I have my mama. That, 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 that. I tell my mama my whole life. Because what I'm trying to show you is, no, no, is when she helped you, who helped you? Went Facebook Live. I just want to make sure because I want to do it. I want because you need somebody else to tell you how you fucking look. Because obviously you didn't listen to me. They're not telling you nothing. You just weird as fuck. How I'm weird because you weird. The motherfucker, listen. She can get. She can get up every day. She can get put clothes on, look clean as hell, go out and party. But come here to the house. Need light. The, the light bill need paid. Got there. Got there. No, no before I'm talking. Before I'm talking. Before I came here. Before, before I, I got my phone message. I tell you, look. No, 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 no. I got my message. I got my message. I got my message. Hold on. Cause you gonna stop playing with me. I ain't gonna play with. You. I'm gonna learn that day. Let me show you this shit real quick. Hold on. Hold on. A petty argument happened between three people. All right, it ain't petty. It ain't petty. It's discussion. Can we tired of it? Three, three people, you don't All right, so boom, check this out. Good morning. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can you send me a hundred dollars cash out? All right, boom. They keep, they keep. We keep going. We more to do. All the time we talk, majority of the time, you ask for something. So when we do talk, you ask for something. You we don't talk, and you never even think about talking to me. You gonna sit here? You gonna sit here and do all the line? I call you, Leo. You gonna sit here and do all the line? I call you. All right. So listen, check this out. Right, this is my thing. I'm just trying to show my sister how she could be in a better situation. You know what I'm saying? Literally, 
And it's like, who want to live with somebody and trying to help them? And and it's like, bro, this shit is so weird. No, you was a broke ass bitch. That's just dirty. Don't do shit. You don't even want to listen. Somebody, somebody got somebody. We didn't even get into an argument. Listen, I'm so sick of this shit. It's like y'all don't understand. Y'all gotta go see this shit. Y'all don't understand my family. My family is like my 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 my, my biggest downfall. Like. I swear to God, like my family is my biggest downfall. No bullshit to, to a certain extent because it's like, bro, you could try to help your family so much, but they feel entitled. They feel like they, they feel like you owe them some. They feel like they feel like you don't give them nothing, nigga. It's like, oh, you the best person. Nobody put no work in. Nobody help you do shit. Nobody checking on you. Nobody paying nothing for you. But every time you turn around, it gotta be you giving them. I'm over that shit. I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna lie to y'all because it's like, bro. It's so easy for them to not even try to feel where you coming from when the only thing they worry about is what you're going to give them. And when you don't give them nothing, they owe that the weird. It's the craziest shit ever. So I'm going to drop my video. I'm going to show y'all this house, how this bitch was before I walked in here. And I'm nice as hell doing this shit from the heart because I love you. Motherfucker going to tell me, you only came in here and did my house like this because you, you, you stand here right now. I'm like, hold up. I got to leave this bitch. So you think when I leave here, I'm going I'm to I'm just take everything. I'm going to unpaint the house. I'm going to take down everything that we just put up in this bitch. When I leave here, you got a nice ass house you standing in now. You, instead of standing where you were just standing. Like, this shit is ridiculous. And then like to a point, somebody got to open their eyes up to see what the fuck going on. Like, I just spent five bands in this bitch. You know what I mean to them? I just came out here and spent five thousand dollars in your house. I ain't have to do that. It's still going. Still ain't done. Then we buy your car. Make it make sense. I had it on my heart to buy a brand new ass car. Fuck a car now. The fuck I'm getting your car for? You can't even keep on child. You ain't even thankful for this shit. Fuck I'm gonna buy you a brand new car for? Like that shit now. Nah. This shit weird. So it's like, maybe I had to I had to come talk to my people to see if I'm tripping real quick. Let me see if I'm tripping real quick. Like, would you talk back to, would you talk crazy to your, to your brother, your sister, they came and I helped you like this? Then you just asked me for money the other day what I did. What I did when you asked me for money the other day? I know I'm going to say what I did though. As you should. So as I should, but... She's here with me. Why wouldn't you do this? Watch this, y'all. Now watch this. I know, I want, I want, I want y'all, I'm just glad you said that. Now watch this, now watch this, like... She said, you were here with me. You should help me on my bills, right? Her bill was probably like $150, $200 on the bill. How much the bill was? How, how much you spent then? How much you spent? No, how much you spent? How much you spent? Be honest, how much you spent? Just be honest, how much did you spend? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying a little bit. And it ain't no more than $300. Ain't no more than $300. Okay. I just came here and remodeled your whole fucking house. You be telling me you been a bitch about... Two hundred, you should have paid that shit with pride. I was not just about money, I mean, you were cool about It ain't about that. I'm just it saying in general, I'm just showing the level of respect. Gen 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 generosity. Generosity, the level of respect. If dad, if dad just came out here. Okay, the thing, the problem is with me and you, you don't respect me in my house. Uh -huh, I don't respect you in your house. It's my shit. It ain't even your house, you didn't pay for it. This is my shit, no matter if I pay for it or not. No, yes, it does. That's what, that's what verse, that's what verse. But listen, that's what verse. You gonna respect me. That's what verse. How the hell I'm gonna respect somebody in a dirty ass house? I was like, this bitch was nasty as hell. You want me to come here and respect you. And you out. leave. I, I bet I won't. I bet I won't. I bet you won't do nothing about it. I bet I won't. Look at her. Look at her. And what she known for? She known for popping shit. Acting like she all that. I can leave this bitch any day, Lil. You're not going to walk out of this bitch right now. You want that because you ready to go back to your, your, little, your, little, your little ball where, where nobody ain't going to say that to you. You can leave nasty. Who got a bigger fish to fry? Go back to your wife. Who got a bigger fish to fry? My wife in Houston right now live her best life. She working. Well, discuss that on YouTube, not I don't got to discuss that. I'm discussing the situation that needs to be discussed because it's, it's, it's sickening. For you to be like, and then what's wrong with y'all women? Women can walk around here, get on Facebook, and be take pictures and look all pretty and shit. But coming to a filthy ass house, car filthy as shit, I ain't got no motherfucking money for real, for real. But then a nigga trying to help you, and it's your family trying to help you, they feel like they don't need no help because, oh, I, I got you. Well, you ain't got me, don't got no more. Cause I'm tired, I got nothing to spend my money on, motherfucker. I ain't trying to do nothing. That, that shit dead. 
You listen, you can sit there and talk all that shit you want to. Look at look at look at look at look at look 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 look. I ain't grateful for this shit. Look at something about your house. Look at look look look. Look look at this. I want y'all to see this shit. No, it's un it uncalled for. Listen. You can't lie on your sister. You damn right with my sister. I should have been did this shit. But, 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 but I bet you, like, I'm not even cornball. I guarantee y'all by next week, she'll end for some money. My lame cornball ass, my lame cornball ass, gonna need to give you some money within next week. Watch this. I know for a fact, I'm gonna post it. You gonna text me, you gonna say, you gonna say, send me $200, please. Because you, you think dad gonna help you. And dad ain't gonna help you. Unless you go, you one of these niggas you talk to. And then, hey, I ain't even put you being like that. Because I, I, it's like, I'll show you how small town you are. Yeah, you can't even lie on your sister. 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 Yeah, I ain't never seen this shit before. Listen. Listen, let me tell y'all something. If anybody come to your house and remodel your motherfucking house, you better be grateful. That's all, that's all, that's all I'm saying. I don't want to talk. You told me don't talk to you. Don't, don't talk to me. When somebody come to your motherfucking house and remodel your goddamn house, listen, I'm telling y'all, you better be motherfucking grateful. I made the bitch look like a new ass house. I'm going to tell you, hold up. They don't get it. The house don't look that bad, though. Oh, it don't. Give me one second. Hold up. I'm going to show you something. I'm off the phone yet. Let me go to YouTube real quick. I'm going to go to YouTube real quick. I'm going to show you something real quick. Maybe a lot of y'all don't watch my channel. Like, a lot of y'all don't watch my channel. That's what it is. A lot of y'all watch my channel. So, I'm going to have to show you my channel real quick. And I, I came here, when I came here, two weeks ago, I went. I moved to Alabama. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, now. It was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. That was this room. No, because y'all got to understand, y'all don't get it. Only people that, that been through this shit get it. There was this room two weeks ago. Look at the floor, look at the carpet. Look at the room. And who in here painting this bitch? I'm in this bitch painting this motherfucker. I'm in this bitch doing all this shit. I came in this motherfucker. Okay, they go to the kitchen. They go to the kitchen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the kitchen. Now what this? Look at the kitchen. Look at the kitchen. Look at the kitchen. Look at everything in here. Now look at the kitchen. Okay. So y'all can see what we did real quick. This room was just kind of like. Hold up. I started painting this one right here already. Look at this shit. Look. Look. I'll, 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 he here. He gonna come get in with me. What the fuck you talking about? Tell dad, come on. Look at this. I know I did good. Thank you. Thank you very well. All right, I want y'all to see the difference. Look at look at this house. I so so it's so it's like this. All I'm telling y'all is this right here. And it, and this a this this a message to anybody that want to be successful in their life, and you want to go back and help your family. See, this ain't for the broke motherfuckers. I don't want to. I ain't, I ain't even talk. No disrespect. I'm not talking to a broke motherfucker right now. I'm talking to I'm talking to that one person. That want to be that 1% in their family. You want to be that black sheep. You, like, you, you think right now that you can... I'm talking to the niggas and the females that's busting their ass right now to be successful and to go out and they want to go change their family life. Before you do that, I'm just telling y'all from experience, you better go take it yourself first. Take it yourself first and make sure that you way up here. Do not go out and try to like think you just... Made a couple a couple of dollars and you can help your family. Take yourself way up here. Because you gonna help your family out, you gonna keep helping your family out because you love them. And when you help their ass out to the point where your ass can't help yourself no more, ain't nobody gonna be there to help your ass. Your family gonna be sitting there looking at your ass doing the same shit that they was doing before you helped them. Shut up. So you can take it how you wanna take it. It's the realest shit ever. It's the realest shit ever. That goes for every family because I'm telling you, your family gonna be the ones that that'll pull you down that won't give a fuck about you before anybody else. Straight up, facts. So that's all I'm saying. I just don't like it. I just I just feel like nobody in my shoes until motherfucker get in my shoes and do what I did. Came here, put the amount of hours that I put in, none stop, constantly doing this bitch every day. Then you, the, the, the motherfucker who house we really barely helping. Barely helping. The person who house we just came in just did all of this, you barely helping. 
And then when I do ask for something, I got to get a, re a, a response back, a remark. You're going to tell me to respect you. But I just came here and did all of this. And I can, and I can say, do that. I'm going to get a remark.